I'm again going to show how to solve the non-linear equations or find the root of a non-linear equation y equal to five x using by second method k with the aid of k shows with f x phi seven zero the x plus with model calculator. Okay, let's consider we have a non-linear equation y equal to f x y equal to f x. Okay, let's say we have the um f okay the point a naught x equal to a naught okay and then another point x equal to b naught and the center point or the midpoint which is c naught which is the okay, average of a naught plus b naught divided by two you get c naught and then okay, f a naught here is the value of y when x equal to x naught okay when x equal to b naught okay y equal to f b naught okay and let's say f K a naught multiply product of f a naught f b naught scale less than zero. Consider by using intermediate theorem. If k okay, if you have your f a naught f b naught scale less than zero, for example, like this graph, so that is k okay, at least k okay, if at okay, so that is. At least k one root, sir. At least one root in the interval. Okay, in the interval, okay, a naught to b naught. Simple here. F a naught, f b naught, k less than zero. So one is positive, one is negative. It will graph may look like this, k or this root on the other one. F A F B not scale are uh, negative. We do this way or that way. We all need more than one root there, but at least one root there. Then we can find the C not, which is a limit point of A not and B not. Okay, and now you check it okay, against if F A not F C not less than zero. If yes means the root is in the interval a naught to c naught, then you will set okay, a naught as a next a, which is a one. So c naught will become your b one, and then you find against your c one. So the process will be repeated until we find the desired root. Desired root. Okay. Okay. Another way to find root here. This is a this is a naught, this is b naught. Uh, this one this way. Okay. If for example you have uh, a naught, b naught, say b naught. Okay, if f a naught say, let's say c naught here, okay, f a naught, f c naught you have a positive. So mean f c naught, f b naught, which is negative. So your okay, we'll set c naught as a okay, and b naught as uh, B1 because the root is in the in the interval C to B. C to B. So mean okay, first of all you must make sure make sure okay, your F A notes F B not less than zero. So there's a okay, granted there's a note okay, a root in the interval A naught to B naught. Okay, later on we find the uh, C naught. If I equal to zero, we have a naught, b naught, it finds a c naught, sir. and then you we'll check it using the uh, uh, which uh, using intermediate value theorem. If f a naught, f c naught less than zero, then the root is in interval a naught to c naught, a c. Yeah? So you set the next a a i plus one equal to a i. So mean okay, a one equal to a naught in AC yeah? so the B okay, B1 will be C naught okay, like this case yeah. because the root in AC so this will be next A this will be next B else okay, another way the root is in CB okay, not, okay, if not A F C not get negative in positive so the root will be in CB CB yeah? in CB so you set the next A equal to the finger C the next B equal to the previous B. So the process okay, is repeated until the okay, 
the convergent criteria is met, okay, the gist case, either you can get FCI equal to zero or modulus FCI less than epsilon or modulus DI minus CI less than epsilon for a given tolerant epsilon and the root of the nonlinear equation is CI. Okay, for example, okay, given the graph of fx equal to x minus x ln x, here yeah, this is the graph. Find the root of fx by using the bisector method. Okay, with b naught minus a naught equal to one. We need to choose a b k a naught b naught such that the magnitude is one. So in this case, we see the root is actually in the uh, interval 2 to 3. So we choose this as a A naught, this as a B naught. So mean A naught is 2, B naught is 3. Okay, and then we use a bisector method. So put it to the table. Okay. We got I start from 0. So initially A is 2, B is 3. Okay, and then we can use the calculate menu to calculate the C. C okay, alpha equal C equal um, then alpha A plus alpha B divided by two and calculate. It asks you A is two, B is three. You get two point five, two point five here. Okay, later on you calculate. Okay, this cell is F A node, F C node, F B node. Okay, look back what is a nonlinear function, nonlinear function here is X minus X ln X. Okay, then calculate the function. Okay, this 2.5 is keep into variable C. Okay, into variable C. So now I calculate the functions alpha X minus okay, alpha X ln, ln okay, alpha X. So you notice, okay, in a scientific calculator from the model, okay, fx570 ms es es plus up to this model, okay, you have the red color variable can be used to key in the formula of equation a b c d e f x y m and you calculate. Okay, calculate initially we have two, three, and then two point five, right? Two is the a node, three is the b node. Check here. Yeah. So calculate. Okay. Initially, we want to calculate okay, x for two, two, input two. So we get zero point six one three seven. Okay. okay. And then calculate again for c naught, which is two point five. Okay. Zero point two zero nine three. Correct. Okay. And then calculate again for B naught which is 3. Negative 0 0.2958. Okay, now check it. Okay. FA, FC. Okay. Product of FA, FC is positive. Turns okay. the root is in C to B because you see FC, FB negative. So mean the root in CB. Okay, so this one you move to A. Okay, yeah. Mean the next, okay, the next A. The next A is taking from previous C. The next A take from previous C, the next B take from previous B because F C F B negative. And so I cut okay, highlight with the yellow color, mean the root in C B. So the next okay, iteration, the A is actually cross root in C B. So it focus on okay, C. 2.5 to 3. And then calculate against the Calculate against the C. Go up. C okay, three times. Because you calculate Fx three times. Calculate. Okay, A now. Okay, A now is 2.5. Okay. Okay, B is the same. So it's just equal to accept. So 2.75. Now you got 2.75. Okay, if C 2.75, okay, you need to calculate again Fc. Okay, this one you go you okay, move down. The next FA you take from previous FC. Okay, the next FB take from previous FB, but you need to calculate again the new FC1. So search back the function of Fx, okay, calculate, okay, 
takes uh, the answer cost cost is two thousand. Keep in answer, which is two. Okay, C is keep in the variable C, which is the answer two point seven five nine two two. Get negative zero point zero three one one. Or you may key in. If you key in, you key in four decimal places. If you take from answer, we take up all the decimal places. It will be more accurate. Okay, now we calculate our F C one. Check again. F A one, F C one negative. So the root is in. A to C. So move down previous A to next A is previous C to next B. Because root in 2.5 to 2.75. So we move down this. This one we move down here. So calculate against the new C. Search back new C. Calculate. A is uh, A is same. No change. So you move down to change the C now to 2.75. So you get the C, 2.6250, 2.6250, okay, and then, okay, you want move down, you need to calculate the new FC2, FC2, search back the function FX, calculate, okay, you may key in 2.6250, okay, or you may press the answer, then they give you 2.6250, okay, so you get the FC1 and FC2 now, 0 0.0917. So the process is repeated, okay, repeated until either you use okay, the criteria modulus FCI less than epsilon. In this case, okay, modulus FC9, you get 0 0.004 less than epsilon that we set because we, okay, we use four decimal place calculation to choose the epsilon. Okay, 0 0.005, so the root of the fx equal to x minus x long x is approximately c9 okay at c number 9 which is 2.7179 2.7179 so this is using bisection method okay and then i'm going to show okay actually you can also use a scientific calculator to get the okay, the root of the nonlinear equation quickly quickly so, We ask for the initial value, let's say I put 2. We give you the roots. 2.71828 something here. Then you can use a scientific calculator to get the root of the nonlinear equation by keying your nonlinear equation and then you press solve. It's on top of the count button. Then you press the shift solve. Okay, and then if you want to plot the graph, okay, the graph of the nonlinear equation. Okay, you may go to the table mode. Okay? So this one, you get the root scale directly. The root directly. Then if you want to plot the graph, you may go to the menu. Okay, without pipe table. Number 9, equal. So you can put scale alpha x minus ln alpha x. Okay, and then equal. We ask for case okay, starting value. If you don't know about the graph, let's say we just put maybe negative five. Okay. The ending, let's say five. Step side, let's say what? Uh, you, give it, okay, you don't have a negative part, eh? okay, for the positive part. Positive part. Okay, and you want to see the graph. Okay, QR code, yellow color, press the shift button. Then, you may use a handphone to scan the QR code. So, this is the graph. So hopefully you got another root here. The, 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 the root is here. And this one, this is x minus x1 x. Why the graph uh, slightly different? Huh? Why this graph slightly different? Let me check whether I key in the wrong function. Okay. 
Oh, I key in the wrong function. X minus X ln X. So the X minus X ln X. So you get it here. The roots between okay, this one you see 2 to 4. Okay. So I revise back. Okay, I show okay, um, how to use a ratio classic model calculator in the calculate menu to solve the nonlinear equation okay, using the uh, bisections method. Bisection method. You must have a initial A node, B node, where the F A node, F B node less than zero. So to guarantee there is at least one root in K in A node and B node. Then you find a C, which is a key intermediate point. And then you check if F A node, F C node negative mean the root is in A C. Else the root will be in C B. So for first case, okay, uh, let's say you put it here. And this one, this one, FC, FB negative, the root is in CB. So the next A take the previous C. Okay, next B take the previous B. So we put C. Then we calculate against the C, then we calculate against the FC. So stop, okay, either you get the modulus, okay, FCI less than epsilon, okay, or you may take, okay, Modulus, okay, B I minus C I less than epsilon, or you see, okay, F C you can get equal to zero, and the last root will be your, okay, C I. Okay, uh, here this model we got the spreadsheet, okay. However, um, okay, spreadsheet, okay, which is, but unfortunately we have here only. Uh, five columns, so not enough, uh, A, B, C, not enough to do by such a method. That's why you still use the normal calculate menu. To input the C, okay, which is A plus B over 2, okay, but I input this now, C equal to A plus B divided 2. Okay, my equal is a, okay, uh, this red color equal, so that the result that you obtain, for example, C 2.5, keep in variable C, so when you want to calculate FC, okay, FC you just recall back the C that is stored in memory. Okay, with this, thank you for your attention.